Hi right, team, welcome back. Continuation day six for the Selenium training. So quick review. We'll do some progress and then if there are questions, uh, would be able to handle them. All right. So still working on the first application. In fact, uh, we're going a little slow comparatively. Uh, what we're trying to do is develop a data-driven framework, right? So I'm not sure how many of you have seen the videos uh, on the Excel read and write. So I want to show that and, uh, you know, this test ng data provider, I think what we will do is write after this exercise, this project on the first data-driven framework, then we will go there. So a small deviation and then we can come back because we started with JNet, so it's easy to continue it that way, okay? So, uh, I'll explain what I mean on the deviation thing, team. Quick look again at the code that we've done. And also, team, just to let you know, I have hosted the videos on um, uh, screencast. So you should definitely look at it uh, along with the code. Okay. So if I quickly log in there. Oh, not QTP, it's Selenium. If any of you do not have access, please write an email to learn at itlearn.com. Someone will help you. So the five videos are here and the class files and scripts, okay, as of yesterday. So you can click on the download and then unzip it. All right. So uh, the videos that I'm mentioning to you, team, that I'm assuming that you've got a chance to look at or you can look at later are uh, for sure the overview videos and the Excel videos. Okay, that read Excel, read Excel, write Excel, these three videos and the JUnit basics. So that will give you a good stance on things. All right. So I'm not sure how many of you have watched it, but uh, I'm going to progress in that direction. Um, in case needed, we'll take a break tomorrow's session and then continue from Monday as long as you're able to watch the videos. All right. So let's get uh, moving. First, change this version to ddf1 underscore 4 dot java and then go about. So team, what I want to talk to you today is something about called as functions or methods. Okay, Very important concept because we will use that very extensively be it you're working with Java or JNIT or TestNG or any other programming language. The parameterization, uh, defining variables, writing the conditional statements and so on becomes very important. Okay, two things I want to introduce today. One is uh, functions and methods. The other is something called as the loop statements with a simple for loop. All right. So to do that, what we will do is uh, I can keep this as is, but open a new Java class and just call uh, basics underscore functions. Alright, so we'll talk a little bit about basics of functions. So primarily team, when you give a Java class, what we do is we create something called as public class basic functions and so on. Okay, when we have a JUnit code, what typically happens is we have these annotations. One is at uh, before, okay, then we have at after and we have at test. Right. So please do watch the JUnit overview videos. It will tell you more detail about the annotations. Now, against each of these annotations, like we have here, we will create different methods. Okay. Let me talk about them very quickly. So I'm almost writing the same code which we had earlier in here. Okay. Almost a very similar code that we had here at test public void main test. and at after. 